And when did you start doing the actual pancreas uh, fighting out there? I was uh, traveling uh, with Dean Malenko. Uh, he was staying at my house. Uh, he was working with us with South Atlantic Pro Wrestling. And me and him were traveling together. And he showed me this videotape. And it was, uh, I remember the, the Japanese guys now that I was over there, I actually built an organization with them. Uh, Minori Suzuki and Masakatsu Fanaki. Those were the two guys I saw on the tape that were fighting. And I remember watching them and they were kicking and they were punching and they shot, took down, and then they were submissions and they were back to their feet again. I never saw that combination before, except for in a street fight. It was like, is that real? Is that like, I mean, are they, is this, is this a, is something real? And Dean said, yeah, my, my dad uh, was up there and Sammy Saranaka is the booker for the United States to send new talent over there. And I said, man, I don't want to do that. Now I'd already won Tough Man, so people right. knew my reputation. And I wrestled in high school, I had the wrestling stuff, I didn't have any submissions. So I told uh, Dean, I said, how can I do that? And he said, you come up to, you know, Florida and go to my dad's gym and, you know, meet Sammy and uh, try out. And I said, I'd love to. So he hooked us up, I flew out there the same day I landed, I go to the gym. Sammy, I meet Sammy Saranaka, who's passed on since then. Um, shook his hand and said, yeah, hey, I'm Karen. I saw that, I'd like to, you know, do something. Well, there was a couple guys there, including Bart Vale, who was one of the top American fighters. And so I went in there and I whipped all their asses. You know, I didn't have any experience. I was just a street fighter, you know. I was a tough kid, very strong. And I wrestled, I boxed. And, um, so six weeks after I did that tryout, Sammy brought me to Japan and I did a tryout there. And uh, I remember first same thing, flew in, landed, drove to the gym, got in in the morning, drove to the gym. Sammy says, warm up. And so there's two young boys there. And so I start, you know, going with one of them and I handle them pretty easily. And uh, then I watched these two other guys walk in. Well, the other two guys that walked in was Suzuki and Fanaki. Those are the guys I saw on the tape. And then I was like, uh-oh. So they put another young boy in. And I pretty much just, you know, throw him all over the place. And each of these are about 20 to 30 minutes. Right. So I've got about an hour now. Yeah, they're trying to wear you out, kind of. Yeah, but, but you know, I mean, I, I'll be the first one to tell you, it matter if I was tired or not, those guys would have killed me. <laughs> no question. Uh, but the idea was to wear me out enough to where I would quit. And to make me quit was make me so tired that when I had to go against those two guys, I would say, yeah, man, let me, let me get rested up before I go against them. I mean, that's what they were looking for, see if I would try to find a door. And uh, which is what I use now for my technique in, in finding young talent. The Lions Den tryouts is what I got from Japan. That's how I developed all that, was to test guys to see whether or not they would give me everything they had. And that's what they were doing with me. It was like, I was tired after going an hour with these young guys and I pretty much dominated them and I felt good. But I knew those guys were a lot at a different level just because I'm, you know, I'm pretty streetwise. You know, I, I see talent when I see talent, tough guys when I see tough guys. So they said, okay, you want to go a little bit more? And, so they pointed to Suki and I said, yeah, no, no misstep, no stutter. Yep, let's go. Because my mentality was, kill me. Because I got nothing else in this world except what I can do. And you're going to have to kill me to take, away, take that from me. That's just been my mentality since I was a kid because I didn't have anything else to rely on. So he comes in and I go after him and he chokes me out. He hooks me. I mean, he just tears me up. And we went probably another 30 minutes. And I'm tired. And so Sammy goes, hey, good. And he goes, uh, oh, you want to go some more? Like, you know, giving me a way out. And I said, sure, absolutely. I mean, I'm tired. So Suzuki comes in there. Suzuki's much bigger. And same thing, chokes me out unconscious. I'm waking up. It's like not knowing where I'm at, heel hooking me. I mean, he's having his way with me, just, just stomping on me. And I keep going, and I keep going. And pretty soon Sammy goes, you had enough? I said, no. So we keep going, and he'd go harder, trying to get me to quit. 
Now my nose is bleeding. I mean, I, I mean, I'm dizzy, and I'm stumbling, but I'm still going. And Sammy goes, "You had enough yet?" And I go, "Nope." And so he kind of chuckles and he said, "Okay, that's good." And I said, "No." I said, "You want me to go? I'll keep going." He said, "No, no, no. We got what we wanted." And I said, "You sure?" He says, "No, no, 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 no. We're good." So, is it three months after that? I do my very first fight in front of 17,000 people. I'm number four on the card. I fight this young boy, Fouquet, who was there with the tryout, and pretty much beat him up. Right. So, I fight him, 17,000 people, and I had three months to train, two to three months to train for this fight in the United States, which I had to go to boxing and then I had to go to wrestling school. There was nothing to do together. And I didn't have a gym at the time, so I mean, I'm piecing things together, but I knew what I saw, I knew what I had to learn. I beat the guy. People started chanting my name. No one knows me. No one knows anything about me. But this is something that I've carried with me throughout my whole career, God given. It is my expression, my emotion, my determination that bleeds through when I'm in the ring. That people understand that I can't lose this and that this means everything to me. However that is and however it happens, God given. But people feel it. And ever since that first fight, people chanted my name, my very first one. And I wasn't trying to entertain them. I was just very emotional and intent. It's carried over in every single one of my fights. I've broken all kinds of records, no matter what organization I've been with. And the fans have followed me through it all. And it wasn't planned. It's just who I am, and it's God-given.